Responsibly. All right, good evening, and welcome to episode 27 of. Can Drinking you believe Buddies. that? 27 episodes. It's insane. And I we're still really standing. Still standing. <laughs> Drinking heavily every week, and we're still good to go. Anyway, I am Brian Roberts. This is my good friend Harry Thomas. And Harry, every single week, provides us with a brand new cocktail to try and to have a good time with. So, Harry, what is our cocktail of the week? Well, the cocktail of the week is a. Uh, Spin on the classic whiskey sour, which oh, we had, good. and you like whiskey sours. Love those. This is called a Kilbegan Secret Sour. A Kilbegan Secret Sour. And we're supposed to use Kilbegan Irish whiskey, but uh, we're using a different brand of Irish whiskey Amen. for this. And uh, anyway, it's uh, it's an elegant spin on the uh, on the uh, classic. All right, well, let's get it on. Let's see so what let's let's uh, calls for. Irish whiskey and calls for Kilbegan, but we're going to use this. We're going to use some old Bushmills. So maybe this is the old Bushmills. Yeah, secret. one and a half ounce or one jigger each. All right. So that's and we're doing two drinks, so we're gonna we're gonna put three ounces in here. Three ounces, yeah. Of Irish whiskey. Yummy. And that is three. And Irish whiskey is just a, for the most part, just a little bit smoother. Mm. And uh, has a nice round flavor. All right. It doesn't have the peat that Scotch whiskey That's does. Right. That's right. We're going to use uh, three quarters of an ounce per, so one and a half ounces of uh, dry vermouth this time. So four and a half ounces, right? I think so. How much did you say? Well, one and a half ounce. One and a half ounce each? No. One and a half ounce total. Oh, so 0.75 ounces Each. per. Yes. Got it. Okay. So yes, so four and a half, and you're good to go. Yeah. Okay. It is. And uh, we are going to use one half ounce each, or one ounce of uh, fresh lemon. squeezed lemon juice. Amen. So half an ounce each. One ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. All right. Harry's got the magic machine for that. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> and uh, Brian said, "Shall we, shall we juice these first? And I said, "No, let's show them that we're doing this." So we're gonna. So that's four and a half. So we're gonna go to we're gonna have five to and a half, five right? And a half, right. All right, we're getting off close to five. Keep going. We're crossing five. Well, you're going to have to get a squeeze on. A little bit more. Just a squirt. There you go. And we're there. And we are there. Yummy. It smells great. Yep. Fresh lemon. Always smells great. Oh, yeah. By the way, we washed that first. And just in case you were wondering. Right, because the inside of the lemon gets really clean when you wash it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this oh, here we go. right now because we're gonna use this Cut in a little while. The wedges, alrighty, yep. very nice. Now we are going to attack. We're gonna do the same thing here with uh, grapefruit juice. Nice. And what I think I'm gonna do here is just cut this a little bit. Yeah, you can't put it in your magic squeezer. No. Nope. So we're going to have to do sections, I think. Yeah. Yeah, section it here. Mm. Oh, isn't that nice? That's delicious. Ruby so red. we're going to do another ounce here. So that's going to be seven and a half ounces. Or six and a half. Five and a half, six and a half. You got about, that's about a half an ounce. Another one of those, and we should be good to go. Again, we want to show you that we're doing this as best we can, carefully, and with fresh ingredients. 
Perfect. And there Close we are. Enough. Close enough. We're about six in a little bit. We need a little bit more to get to six and a half. We're almost there. Be one more little squeeze from the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're close enough. I think we're there. We're there. Yeah. Okay. So we have that. We can set this aside. Right, I got it. Go ahead. There we go. Careful. All right. Uh, three quarters of an ounce each of simple syrup. Simple syrup. And I just made this this afternoon. It was so hard. Beautiful. That's why they call it simple syrup because it's really hard. <laughs> so three quarters of an ounce each. So this is going to bring us up to eight ounces, right? Three quarters of an ounce each would be yeah, yeah, eight ounces. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. And there we are, eight ounces. So you can see with the uh, it's starting to get juicy and delicious in here. Yes. And uh, one and a half ounces of club soda, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, right? Yeah, yeah. Eleven total ounces of club soda. There we go. And a dash Just of a orange dash. bitters. So one dash, two dash. Very nice. And a little extra for fun. Yeah, you don't want to use too much of that. It'll no, just no. overpower. All right, now we got some ice cubes in the shaker machine. We does. It's time to do the Boston shaker. Shake it up. Harry. Oh, little explosion. Whoa, we're losing some. We do not want to lose anything <laughs> there. there. Here it goes. There we go. Nice. That's why you always shake it toward you. Not toward, not this way, we shake it this <laughs> way so that if we were in a bar, the customer wouldn't get splashed right. all over the place. Right. Right this now. looks like it's going to be tasty wasty. Yeah, it smells great. We were supposed to have Collins glasses, but of course I don't have any of those, so I have these tall Pilsner glasses that we're going to use. Thank you, Hard Rock, for, for that. And uh, we'll be happy to take any money you want to send us, Hard Rock, for, <laughs> for this. Ooh, it smells great. Yeah, I wanted to do, since we're close to St. Patty's Day, I wanted to do a, a drink. So I looked online and there are a number of drinks that we could have used. And basically all of them say, if you don't want to serve green beer, yeah. <laughs> here, are, here are some ideas. I say next week we do something green. <laughs> so right. uh, our lemon slices. Oh, lemon wedges. Yes. Indeed, indeed. Alrighty. Alrighty. One goes here. One goes there. One goes here. So uh, Alrighty. again, uh, think of this as a Collins glass mm. and uh, cheers. And, and this is good. the Kilbegan Secret Sour. Kilbegan Secret Sour. All right, let's hear like it. Like it. Let's huh? find out. Yeah, let's see what it's about. Hmm. Oh wow. That's that's, that's a, good. a this is a warm day. This, this is, is a, a great drink. Yeah, isn't it? it's kind of like a fizzy whiskey sour. Uh huh. Yeah, except you know the the, the I can definitely taste the. Um, the grapefruit juice in it. You can taste the grapefruit. Yeah. You can taste the lemon. And uh, I oh, like really it. It's really good. I like it. It is good. Yeah, fresh. That's right. It's not going to knock you completely over. Exactly. Those guys from Ireland, they really know what they're doing, you know? So here's to, uh, here's mm. to number 27. Episode here's to 27. you guys. Indeed. The and uh, and Kilbegan. here's to uh, Kilbegan uh, Secret Sour. Secret Sour. So, like do, you, do you like this better than your whiskey sour? I don't know if I like it better than a whiskey sour, but it's a good, you know, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good substitute in case they don't have it. I mean, frankly, it seems the whiskey sour is easier to make uh, with all this extra stuff in this, but this is fantastic. So, like us, comment, uh, tell your friends, uh, you know, find us some sponsors, whatever it takes. We are here for episode 27, and just like always, I want to remind you, we here at Drinking buddies, always drink responsibly, and you should too. That's the only way to do it. So one last time for episode 27, my name is Brian Roberts, and my good Great friend, Thomas. and we are the Drinking Buddies. There you go. See you next week. You got it. Again. Yeah.